hey all guys it's fish here and welcome back so basically last episode uh, it crashed when we were about 40 minutes into uh, into playing it without saving so i had to go all the way back uh, pretty much to where we started like three episodes ago i think uh, which was pretty frustrating because we did actually do a lot um however i have played about 20 minutes on from that save um, pretty much doing the same stuff. I haven't really done a lot. I've just been going around killing stuff. I, I, I think I have a few more men than I had at the end of last episode. However, I've lost a lot of money I gained. Like, there's a lot of stuff I did in the past two episodes. So, it kind of evened out that way. But you're always going to do stuff better the second time, I guess. So, you know, as I get better at the game, I'm going to be, you know, do this better. So, I can't really keep everything the same as what I did last episode. So yeah, so basically I've just been trying to get to a point where I was last episode and I've pretty much just been going around trying to improve my army, killing these bandits. I know it's kind of a mundane thing to do because um, it's kind of just the same thing over and over and over again, which, you know, isn't the funnest thing to do in the world. However, when my army becomes really good, um, then I can start taking castles and just start doing a lot of, lot of fun stuff, which is kind of... The reason to like, well, the reason to do this is to get to the point where I can start my own kingdom. So to do that, I need to grind. That's pretty much it, really. You need to grind so that I can, so that I can then do all the fun stuff later on. And at the moment, it's going fairly well. We have a decent set of troops. Um, mainly, our army's made up of the Stormland levies at the moment, at least. Um, what I want to do as well is I want to get a, like a really nice, probably about. 15% of my army to be knights. So I think I'm going to go after I've fought this battle, I'm going to go over to the Vale and I'm going to yeah, I'm going to go over to the Vale and I'm going to recruit a load of knights or at least a load of levies so that I can then turn them into knights. Now they're coming to me, they are. Oh yeah, also I don't think this changed. Oh no, the combat AI did change to average and normal good because it was set down quite low. I'm actually pretty low. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to stay at the back and wait for them to engage me. Because I don't want to get injured. Um, I don't think it's worth me get, like risk getting injured. And they are actually still coming to me. So as long as I just get in here, I'll be like a, I'll just be on the flank slashing and something. I'll let them engage me very properly first, I think. Here they come, boys. Hold the line. I look so cool with their pikes out. Brace, brace. Okay, well that's a lot of them chasing me. This is so nice when I can just slice them up from behind and then. Yeah, they're not gonna stand a chance. I'm gonna just a lot better. And we are in formation as well. So we are taking a few casualties. I'd obviously not like. I prefer not to take as many casualties as I am taking, but we are going to win the day. Ah, he's running. Oh, I'm not going to get him. That's unfortunate. Oh, I might get a stage. There you go. Lovely. Only a few left now to clean up. I know he's going to charge the archers. Charge! Yeah, we'll just finish up these archers. I'll just let my men do it now. And I'll kill this dude who's coming back to the battle. For whatever reason, he was smart to run. Oh, I missed him. There we go. Lovely. Let's mount back up. And get him the fight. This horse looks a lot cooler than my previous one. Probably just because of all the straps. It's not very fast, though. Oh. Was that everyone? Oh no, there's a dude running. Don't worry. Oh, he's running back into the battle. Why? Oh, I missed. Nice. Ow, my horse. There you go. Is that everyone? Yeah, it is. So we did actually lose quite a few men here. I think we lost about five... Six? Oh, we lost eight men. Wow. That's pretty annoying, actually. Uh, we get a bit of loot. So that's good. 
but I still would have preferred not to have lost that many men. Um, yeah, let my companion take it and we'll leave. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Mistwood, um, or whatever it's called, I can't remember. Uh, Weep the Weeping Tower, even. And I'm going to just recruit men on my way. And then I'm just going to rest there for a while, sell the stuff I've got. Oh, there's a battle going on. Between, can I get involved in this? Apparently they're both friends to me. So, hold on. So, who's who? So, Stannis' men is Florence. And the other guy is Stormlands. So let's go ahead and help Stannis, which is this guy. Hold on, I just want to double check before I do it. So Alex. Yeah, cool. So we want to help out this guy. Uh, I'll take to the field with him. We have 100 men with my extra 30 men. Yeah, we outnumber them fairly nicely. So yeah, let's go ahead and help Stannis out in this war. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I do. Oh, my men aren't charging like they should be. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter what I do because I'm not really going to affect his, this war at all. But I might as well, you know, help him out. I get, it just means the lords like me a little bit more, which is always nice. So when I do form my own kingdom, you know, Stannis might be a little bit more friendly towards me because, you know, I've helped him out in his, in his wars. But this is one of the main reasons I need to get a nice cavalry force, is because the enemy all have heavy knights. And it's, I'm just going to get really screwed if I don't have a decent cavalry force. So I need I need strong infantry in a flat out battle. But then, it, but like, then how often, once I've become a king, am I going to be fighting flat out battles? The main battles are going to... Oh, actually, I might just tell them to... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I might just tell them to hold here. Oh, no. Infantry. Form, shield, wall. Okay, there are a lot of good knights. Hopefully my men formed up, though, just in time. Tell my men to charge in now. Yeah, what I just really need to do is dismount them. If I can dismount the men, then my men should be able to clean them up. But until then... Until I can dismount them, it's going to be kind of tricky. Especially when I get sliced up like that as well. Their knights look really cool though. Like, they're like really big horses. Got a nice self on him. Right through the chest. That dude must be down any second now. Got a lot of a lot of green coming up, which is gold. This dude's getting pretty screwed. At least most of their knights now. Oh, that's not good. Actually, that is probably actually okay because I want to be dismounted now to fight these dudes. That's not good. I need to. So I can probably get on his horse. Oh no. I need to be very careful because then their knights are so heavily armoured that my sword doesn't really do much damage to them. And now my men are starting to get pretty much slaughtered here because just because their knights are so much better. Like the reinforcements look like they're turning up now, which is good. But yeah, my men are getting pretty wrecked right now. I might just order them to fall back. Hold position here, boys. Yeah, we'll let everyone else deal with them, hopefully. I think I, I just lost a lot of men in this battle, unfortunately. But we are, we are going to win it, so that's like I won't be taking prisoner or anything. But I don't think it was really worth it. Because, like, the, the men are just so heavily armoured, it's crazy. And I, I don't think I even really get much XP from this. Mainly because... Um, mainly because I'm not getting kills.
These men should be easier to kill now because because they're less heavily armored. So hopefully we can get some kills on these dudes. That'd be nice. It just looked like we've, we're about to win the day. Nice. So everyone? I think we're going to charge in now just because the battle's pretty much over. Maybe a few archers left. But yeah, that just goes to show you the reason why I need knights. Because even when they get dismounted, they're just so heavily armoured. Like, I can even get a load of knights and just dismount them all. Because then they'll still just have so much armour. Because they just have so much plate armour. Whereas if you look at my men up here... Like, these dudes just don't have a lot of armour on them. Even though they are only levies. But even like these dudes, they have like some chainmail on. Whereas obviously plate is going to be a lot better. Can I get on this horse? Nah. So we did win the day, which was good. That should hopefully give me some good relations. And it should hopefully give me some decent loot. We did lose another eight men. But thankfully, the majority of them were using maces. Yeah, but thankfully the majority of them were using maces, so I didn't actually get hurt too much. Oh, I didn't get much loot or anything. That was really not worth it at all. That was unfortunate. I was hopefully hoping for something a little bit more. At least all these dudes leveled up, which is good. So my army... Yeah, my army is... Yeah, it's pretty small now. But at least I've got some elite men now. And then when they finally do upgrade, then there'll be sergeants, and that'll probably be pretty much the yeah. I think the sergeants the highest thing I want to upgrade my men to, because the bit after that is cavalry, and I don't think I want to upgrade my stormlands men to cavalry. I want to get some veil knights, which will just be really cool. So recruit all these, go to the weeping tower. Um, Oh, I did not mean to do that. I want to go to the tavern and I want to try and sell my slaves first. That's kind of a, the thing I want to do straight away if I can. Um, Stormland levies. Oh, this for Clark still. How you doing, dude? Uh, the slaver. Lovely. What can I get for a prisoner? Yeah, I just want to sell my prisoners. 162 gold. Lovely. Uh, now let's go to a marketplace. And let's sell this crap I have. I should make a fair amount of money. Hopefully around two grand. Almost two grand. That's not bad. So now I have four and a half grand. I don't think I can buy anything at the moment. Like of value. I might actually just get a spear. I think having a spear would be really nice to have on horseback, but they're going to be super expensive, I assume. Can that even be held on horseback? I don't even know if it can be held on horseback, but it does look really cool if it can. Uh, yeah, we'll buy it. It's only 1700 And now let's go quickly back to the tavern, because I want to go ahead and recruit them levies. Yeah, but it does look quite cool. I'm sure I'll come in useful. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and recruit the levies. Do they have any good troops here? Three mounted sergeants. I don't want the mounted sergeants. So that's fine. So let's go ahead and make our way up to the Vale. Whilst recruiting men on the way. And then we'll, we'll see if Stannis on the way as well. We'll see if Stannis wants us to do any missions um, as well. Because what I want to do is I want to take a boat around here. Because obviously I don't want to go through King's Landing. Because going through King's Landing will get me killed. So I just want to make my way up to wherever the, the nearest ship thing is. Yeah, it's here. So I want to make my, my way up to Sharp Point. Solely because... Yeah, I want to be, obviously be where the Lannisters. Because I am a Stark man at the moment. For whatever reason, it won't let me not be a Starksman. <laughs> so, as you can see, if I view my... Uh, the factions, is it? How much factions like me? Can I do this? I can't even remember how I do it. But yeah, we're going to make our way up here. 
Oh yeah, Stannis has taken this as well. He's taken Rossby. Which is kind of cool. And anyone else taken anything interesting? I'm pretty sure the Ironborn as well declare war on the Stark soon. I'm pretty sure they do, at least. I feel like this kingdom here was set up so you could take it over and that would be like a starting kingdom which is something i might actually do is i might just start my kingdom here because i can start my kingdom here and then invade the riverlands or do something like along them lines because i feel like this is the main reason this faction's in it is so you can start your own kingdom without having to start a massive war which i think is a good idea in all honesty uh where even are we ah oh, here we are I also need to improve my training skill. I think that's what I'm going to level up next. Is get my training skill up. Because, yeah, I think I need to start. Because fighting a shit ton of battles is, is, is fun and interesting. But it just takes so long to level up men that way. And then you obviously lose men in the battle. So I think it's obviously, obviously it's a lot more efficient to do training. Because... You know, your men just get better and they, there's not a chance of them dying. Hello, five men. Yeah, let's just kill the looters straight away. Um, I should just not have to fight this, surely. If I tell my men to... I should not even need to do that. Yeah, cool. I lost one man. Excess to pull. Just a bit more money, really. So let's keep on going on. Let's move up to Dragonstone. We lost one levy as well. Oh yeah, can we level you? Yeah, no one leveled up, which is kind of annoying. And Carver's back now as well. Which is good. He's back and healthy. I need to get him some good armor. That'd be... That's kind of the... Yeah, I kind of should be doing that as well. Because if he has good armor, he should be able to kill a lot of people. Because his strength is really high. So is Stannis in Dragonstone? He's not. No, he's not. Which is unfortunate. But I still want to go in there, actually. Because I want to go to the marketplace. And I want to sell. Can I make him sell items automatically? Does that mean I sell everything? I think it means I sell everything. I want it to be... Okay, so that's him. I'm pretty sure that's him. Oh yeah, also, can someone tell me about the loan system? Like, what? how does it actually affect anything I think? Can I just borrow a load of stuff and then not bother? Like, not, not bother paying it back? And same with the acre thing. Is it worth buying land? Let me, I'm just reading this. So the interest raises, buying acres cost that much, while it sells for so much. Building a new one requires that, but rent paid to landowners currently accumulates 134. So you get 10% of the money for each acre you buy every two weeks. And has to be collected in the town. So it's not really worth it, you'd have to be around for 20 weeks which is actually a really long time like if you think about it 20 weeks in this game is pretty significant whereas yeah because what i've played i'm on day 26 now i think i've played into it so what that's that's only like three four weeks i've played so i've, I've barely played a month oh actually can we land up here we can brilliant so we can just bypass going and the Lannister land completely. That's really nice. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a few of these these towns and see if I can just straight out buy some knights. And then I'll recruit some levies. And then I'll try and actually raid some of these places. Because by the looks of it, they're actually ripe for the picking. I can actually raid a few of these places because they haven't been raided yet. And hopefully I don't get caught out about it. So let's go to Gold Town and try and recruit try and recruit some more men so let's see recruit 
four mounted veil sergeants. Yeah, we want that. Cool. So let's have a look at them. That cost me pretty much all my money. Like, all my money. But now these dudes should be able... When I upgrade them to Veil Knights, they should be really, really strong. So what I need to do is... I need to actually go looting now, like, really badly. Um, so we actually need to go back out this way. Turn up at Domport. And start looting to make some money. Because hopefully I don't have to pay my soldiers anything anytime soon. Because that would kind of put me in debt quite heavily. But yeah, anyway, so that's pretty much 20 minutes. I'm, I think it's 20 minutes anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed this, please do go ahead and like and subscribe. It means so much that you guys are supporting this series. And, you know, yeah, comments are awesome. I read every comment. So if you want to say something or just say it was a good video or give me advice, please go ahead and do that because um, I, I will obviously read it. Um, unfortunately, I can't recruit anyone. Uh, next episode, we're going to continue training our men. I'm going to hopefully get some more Veil Knights, but I need to get money first, so we're going to go looting. Um, and hopefully, I don't get caught out by any of the enemy lords, otherwise that could be kind of bad. But yeah, so we're going to go looting right at the moment and see how far that gets us. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time, and fish out.